Hi guys, happy Saturday. Welcome back to another vlog. So don't mind the way that I look right now. I'm looking crazy. It's been such a long day. Hector and I have been running around all day and I have a little haul for you guys also. We went to Target, TJ, and Ross and we got a couple little miscellaneous things. Cleaning supplies that of course I gotta show you. And then we also did get our new fridge today which is very exciting. And there's still an echo in here because we don't have any furniture in the house yet. We're getting the house cleaned on the 18th. They're coming in to clean. I keep saying the house but they're not really cleaning the entire house. They're cleaning the floors and um, they're deep cleaning the carpet. So that's gonna be on Tuesday. So once they come in to do that, we can pretty much start moving in. And then today we got a consultation for the bathrooms. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the fridge and I'm gonna show you guys what we got from the store. Oh, my dad's calling Hector. Okay, so here we have our fridge. It fits perfectly. Like if we would've got one that's like even a little bit bigger, it wouldn't have fit. So we're super excited. It's just like a standard fridge, but it's pretty spacious. Like just for us, it's perfect. I love it. So I'm gonna show you guys now everything else that we got. And I can't believe that I actually still fit into these Uggs. I've had them since I was like 14 in like ninth grade. And I got them for Christmas like forever ago. And I just, I can't believe they still fit, but yeah. Anyways, so this is some of the stuff that we got. Picture frames, a mop. So let's go through it. So first Hector did get this Black Panther frame. This is actually from Ross. It was $12. I'm not really sure what his theme's gonna be for the man cave, but I know Black Panther and Spider-Man are his favorites. We also got this super cute frame. I love it. This is definitely gonna go in our master bedroom or probably here in the living room, but just says Mr. and Mrs. We're gonna put our wedding photos here. So cute, and it was only seven dollars, which makes it even cuter. Then I just got this mop bucket. This is like a spin mop. You can get these like pretty much anywhere. I've seen them at Walmart, Amazon, TJ Maxx, like they have them all around. But this was actually from Target, it was on sale for $25. And I have one of these at my dad's house, and I really like it. So I just picked one up for here, and you can actually replace these as well they sell them at target in packs or even like again on amazon they have them so the microfibers you can wash them and replace which is nice and the packaging on these like fell off but these are just like standard towels i got these at tj maxx just for the kitchen i need to wash them but they're just like cream a dark gray and like a beige shade i think these were like 12 dollars, but you get one two three four you get six towels so it's pretty good so i got those from tj maxx and i also did get these microfiber cloths i've been trying to use like less paper towels and more of these for like cleaning the mirrors and cleaning the countertops and everything and i really like these so this is just a 10 pack and these were only 4.99 i also did get this Bona cleaner. I got this from Target. It's a hard surface floor cleaner. So obviously for our floors down here, we actually don't have hardwood floors. I believe these are vinyl. So I got that and I believe that was $14 or $15. So it's a little bit more pricey, but I heard it's really good. So we're going to give it a try. Then I also did get this stainless steel cleaner and polish from Target. Got some Clorox. This is like essential for the toilet bowl and also your bathtub. This is like amazing. You just put it in there let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes and then you scrub it and your tub looks like brand new. It's like white and clean. It's amazing. Definitely recommend though opening a window whenever you're doing this just because obviously it's like Clorox so it's a little bit on the strong side but I really, really like this for the tubs and the toilets. So I got that and then I also did get this scrubber for the bathtub as well. I just got it at TJ Maxx, $2.99. And got a couple other things here. Everything is from TJ, Ross, and Target. So I got some of this stainless steel wipes. I think, where are these from? Yeah, these are from Ross actually. They had them for $3.59. So I just got two of those. And then random, but Hector loves this pancake mix. I have yet to try it. I just haven't been in the mood for pancakes. I think I ate them way too much the past year. But yeah, he says these are really good. And they have like whole wheat and flax in them. So these were $3.99. So this is what the brand is. Wheat Montana Farms and Bakery. Another random item, but that's what happens when you go to these stores. I got this seasoning. It's roasted garlic and rosemary and sea salt. And where's this from? I saw this at 
TJ Maxx too, but this one's from Ross, $3.99. You guys know I love my seasonings, so this would be really good. I feel like on potatoes or like veggies in general. And then we got some turmeric. We love turmeric with our tofu scramble, or really you can use it for anything. It doesn't honestly taste like anything. It just adds some color to your food. So this big thing was only $7, which is like amazing, because like this is a lot, but love that. Lots more stuff. So got these from Target actually. These are the Lenny and Larry's cookies. You guys know I love these, but Hector actually got this one because it's peanut butter chocolate chip. And then we also did get these Garden of Life Organic Fit High Protein Weight Loss Bars. Of course, these are for me. I've tried these before and they're really good. Like I had one of these for breakfast today just to like hold me off because I wasn't in the mood for anything super heavy. So I just got one of these and I love the chocolate fudge ones. So there's not too much protein in here. Like it honestly just kind of tastes like a chocolate bar and they're not super sweet, which I really like so they're good for in the morning and I feel like it really does like satisfy my hunger and everything and there's not like a ton of sugar in here like there's literally just one gram of sugar which is amazing and they have a ton of different flavors as well so yeah I always get these at Target I got more of these stainless steel wipes because they were only two dollars at TJ Maxx they're probably honestly getting ready to like dry out and expire soon so I'm gonna use these I mean I assume that's why they're two dollars I don't know but I just got two of these and then Hector got some shot glasses. These are like white pearl ones. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's like a pretty finish on the shot glasses. And then I got this for the sink just to like hold our sponges. And this was, how much was this? $4.99 TJ. And then we got some wine glasses because these were on sale for only $7 at Ross. And these are like the smaller wine glasses, so just picked those up. And the last thing that we got is for our countertops. This is the Method Daily Granite Cleaner, but you can also use it for marble and stone. So I've never tried this brand before, but I've heard good things about it. We also did get this front doormat from Ross. It just says Our Happy Place. And this was only $10. It's kind of small, but... We loved what it said. Okay, so that is everything that we got. Lots of randomness, but like, you know, necessities. So, Hector and my dad swapped all these out down here. So now they're all black. They look so good. And then the door hinges are black. I love it. You do good work. You love it. I love it. I, I, I really like the black. That looks nice. And the small one. Thank you too, so. You think we should change the color of these, these handles here? Oh, I didn't know you could change them. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Make them, what, black? Black? Yeah, you want to. Yes. <laughs> you just what wanted confirmation, but you're going to do it anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Love it. Also, let's address this. This is not a stripper pole like everybody was assuming in the house tour. This is actually just oh. support for like the roof right, right here. But instead of obviously having like a metal pole, they just made it this color. That way it looks a little bit nicer. And it matches everything else now. Oh yeah, I think you should definitely do the black. I think that's gonna like pop more. Mm -hmm. Then we fixed this too over here. I don't know if they knew about this, but this was like coming off right here. So oh, I didn't even we know. We just had to fix it. Like the screws were really loose and yeah. you know. We have, to put, we have to put a cover on that too. So now we're about to clean this messy kitchen. It's a must, it needs to be deep cleaned. But I also wanted to show you guys, I did get these drawer liners. I got these from Lowe's actually. I don't know if we're gonna have enough, but we're gonna put them inside right here just to protect the wood. So we're gonna like clean in here, cut them, and then just put them in here. That way if something spills, it doesn't ruin the inside of the cabinet so you could pretty much get drawer liner anywhere but we like this one just because it has no holes in it like I've seen them at Walmart but they have like those little tiny holes and we just wanted them standard just to again protect the inside of the cabinet so I'm gonna cut these up but first I gotta clean all this especially the appliances okay update on these two cleaning products they are absolutely amazing this smells really good I do recommend opening up windows though I like to do that anyway like when I clean just because it is pretty strong but it's amazing it really does like shine and keep the countertops looking really nice. I went over them like a bunch of times just to really get them nice and clean because nobody has lived in this house for a little while. So I really got in there and I love it. So they feel really nice, smells really good. So definitely recommend this. And then I also really love the stainless steel 
cleaner and polish i use this on the dishwasher stove and then our fridge i did clean it just because like even though it's new i still just wanted to wipe it down but yeah this is really good so these two amazing and if you guys have not tried cleaning with these microfiber cloths i definitely recommend it i feel like you can get a better clean versus just using like paper towels i really like these and plus you know it's reusable you just wash them and then it's amazing so yeah hey guys so today is wednesday it's been a couple of days since my last vlog i've just been really busy working on stuff with the house filming editing getting things done but look at how cute bernard is oh my gosh He's just so cute. Like, do you ever just look at your pets and you're like, how do you exist? Like, you are so cute. Or if you have kids, you're probably like, like, how are you alive? Like, you're just like too cute, like to even be alive. Anyways, um, so I'm actually about to eat lunch right now and head out to Ulta because I need to pick up some things for a video that I'm filming today and then also a video that I'm filming either tomorrow or Friday. Um, so I'm gonna go to Ulta. I went to the gym this morning, showered, straight into my hair. I just have it like in a little low ponytail. I also want to go to the mall. I want to pick up some more plugins from Bath and Body Works and then I also need to make a return. So Hector and I ordered some doorknobs on Amazon and they don't lock. Like that's what we get for trying to save money. We ended up just going to Olo's and getting them because even though they were more expensive they actually lock and they like are the doorknobs that we actually need. And yeah that's pretty much it for today. I've just been working on the house. We are officially going to be moving our stuff in this weekend, which I'm so excited about. We're not gonna move everything in just because there's certain things that we still need to get beforehand, but we can start moving some stuff into the basement, um, probably like our dining room table. Yesterday we got the carpets clean and the floors and they look so good, especially the carpets. They feel so fresh. It smells really good in the house. I wish you guys could smell it because it smells just so clean and fresh. And then I also did order our blinds yesterday. We're gonna get those installed within the next two to four weeks because they are custom blinds. So we have to like wait for them um, to get here. So slowly but surely we're getting things done Done. we're probably not officially going to be moved in and settled until like april but we're getting some stuff done but i'm about to eat some lunch i made some vegan lasagna yesterday for the first time for hector's birthday and it turned out amazing you guys have to try this recipe i will leave it down below but you wouldn't even know that it's vegan like definitely not a super healthy recipe because there's a lot of cheese and stuff in it but it is delicious so i'm about to have that and probably a little piece of red velvet cake which i also did make yesterday and it was very good if i do say so myself okay so this is what it looks like it probably doesn't look very good but it tastes better than it looks oh my gosh it is amazing like you guys have to try this recipe it was actually pretty easy to make for the most part i did make my cheese though separately for the um inside layer of it i believe it's called ricotta cheese and i will leave my uh, cheese recipe on the screen or like down below it's also really easy i actually got it from a comment that i saw in the recipe video that i used somebody left it and i screenshot it used it it's amazing okay so here we have lunch i gave myself a pretty big piece because i am so hungry i also have a little piece of bread on the side well it's actually not little it's like really big <laughs> but i put that in the toaster oven with a little bit of olive oil on it and i also did add a little bit of this italian seasoning on top makes it taste like restaurant style bread and then i also added some butter this is just the one that i use you can get it at walmart so but to devour this and then head out to Ulta. So it looks like today I'm having dessert early. I usually have it right before bed, but I couldn't help myself. I just am such a big snacker and I love anything sweet. So I'm having some red velvet. I made this just right out of the box, super easy. And then just some vanilla peanut butter ice cream. And the icing is honestly just powdered sugar with some unsweetened almond milk. I just like mixed it around in a bowl. And by the way, this is the ice cream that I used. I really like the Briars non-dairy ice cream that they have. It tastes like really honestly like regular ice cream. Like you wouldn't even know that it's like non-dairy. This is made with almond milk. Okay, just went to Ulta. I didn't get a chance to go to the mall just because I want to come back and like film ASAP. I don't want to waste too much time because I really gotta get this video done but I'll show you guys what I got really quick so mini Ulta haul I got the Kylie Cosmetics birthday collection the eyeshadow palette I have an exact dupe for this that I want to test out the dupe was sent to me so I figured I would get this and we could do like another dupes video very soon so I picked this up the packaging is really cute though I will say her packaging and her themes are always really really nice so I got that and then I also did get the Kylie Cosmetics blush in the shade we're going shopping. This is for today's video. It's like a peachy blush. Today is also National Lash Day, so I got some lashes on sale. I picked up a few Lily lashes. Originally, these are like $26. Today, I got them for $18 a pop, which is still 
a lot of money but I mean you know it's better than 26 and then these are the style that I got and then I got these in the style Ronnie they probably both look the same but these are a little bit longer and wispier also did pick up house of lashes these are in the style Juliet or as my parents would say Juliet <laughs> with a Y got the Tarte man eater mascara Okay, I have the weirdest neighbor like she will drive so slow up the block with her dog hanging out the window It's like the weirdest thing and she'll drive extra slow if Bernard and me are like outside It's like the weirdest thing. I have some really weird neighbors, but anyways, so I did get the Tarte man eater mascara I don't remember if I've tried this I might have tried like a sample size But I figured I would get a bigger one again for this video that I'm filming today I'm doing a video testing out your high-end favorite. So I picked up some high-end makeup. I also did get the Kylie Cosmetics pressed bronzing powder. This one's in the shade Toasty. This is like a really nice, from what I saw in Ulta, like a really nice contour shade. So I'm excited about that. And this is a brand new product for me. I've never tried anything from this line, I think except eyeshadows. But I got the KKW lip liner in the shade number two. It's like the brown nude. And then I also got the Kylie Cosmetics skin concealer in the shade Ivory. I'm gonna test this out today. And then I got two ABH liquid lipsticks. One is a nude and one is a red. My two different moods. So I got those two. That's everything I got. So now I'm gonna go inside and start filming this video. And then maybe we'll go to the mall later and get some Bath & Body Works plugins because I've been loving the shade, the shade, the scent White Fiji Sands. It smells amazing. Look at the difference makeup does wonders but yeah I just got done filming I'm already back in my comfy clothes because this is just who I am as a person and this is me I'm about to actually start editing this vlog and then I think I'm gonna head out to Bath and Body Works so I can get those plugins and then also make that return on those doorknobs that I told you guys about earlier I think I told you about them but yeah, I have to return some doorknobs at Kohl's. And let me just say that it is so convenient being able to return Amazon things at Kohl's. Okay guys, so I think we found a couch that we like for the living room. We want something really small and it's like obviously expensive, but compared to other ones that we've seen, because we just want something small because we're not gonna be spending too much time in the living room, but we still want something cozy. I like the color too, because Bernard, it's not gonna be like too light for him. Tan here, so. I like this one and so it only reclines on that side right i think so i think oh, no. oh it does oh that's nice a lot of the couches here are like 1100 and up so this is like one of the cheapest ones that we found julie's reclining sofa i like this one and then this is another one that we like it's kind of like the same vibe but i feel like it's just not that like fluffy but i like it i like the color and this one reclines too. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, just went to Bath and Body Works. I'll show you guys what I got. But now we're at Pier 1. And they are actually shutting Pier 1 down. Like, they're closing a lot of stores. I believe they're filing for bankruptcy. But they have, like, everything on sale. So we're just trying to see if we can find, like, a cute coffee table. Or just, like, anything for the house that we could use. We really like this bed frame over here. I know it's kind of hard to see. But we really like the gray. This is what the headboard looks like. So it's on sale now for 210, which I think is pretty good. That's pretty average from what we've seen like online and it was originally 350. This one's pretty nice too. It's like a cream color, but this one's more expensive. Yeah, this one's 500. And I kind of like the other one more. I kind of like the gray. Okay guys, I am back home now. I figured I would do another little haul. Started with the haul, we're gonna end with a haul. So, first I went to Bath & Body Works. They had their wallflowers on sale for $3.50. The other day I went there and I only got a couple of them. I believe they were like six for 26 or something like that. So I ended up getting a couple of those and I got one scent and I loved it. So I just put it in the new house in the bathroom and the entire first floor smells like this. It is amazing so i only got one of the scent because i just love it so much this is fiji white sands and i can't really describe what it smells like it's kind of warm and sweet but it's not like too warm and sweet like maple syrup you know what i mean like it's just like a perfect 
cozy scent. I'll insert the notes right here because I'm like the worst with scents, but this is amazing. And then the only other things that I got are just more of like the actual plugs themselves. And I just got the cheap ones that they had. They have like really cute ones with like flowers, all these really cute things that I thought would be nice in like the beauty room and the office. But some of them were like $14.50, $16.50. I was like, I'm not going to spend that much just for a plug-in so I just got like the cheapest ones these are at like 550 um, and they actually had ones that were cheaper that were 450 they just didn't have the color that I wanted um, I just got white and cream I know it's kind of hard to see because this lighting is terrible but um, I just pretty much got all white ones I got one cream one for our master bathroom and then all of the other ones are just like the traditional um, just like white standards and then also I wanted to mention I talked about this um, coupon app before but retail me not that's what I actually used today and I got 20% off my entire order plus on top of like the sale that they had going on this video is not sponsored if you guys are ever out shopping they have pretty much coupons for I feel like almost every store Ulta, Bed Bath & Beyond, Bath & Body Works all you have to do is download the app and then you just search for the store that you want and then the coupon pops up it's amazing and they just scan your phone and yeah it's great i saved a lot of money today just on this stuff which was great so we love that then i ended up going back to ulta because i went there earlier and i got stuff that i needed for today's video and i forgot that i wanted to go there also for things for my next video for sunday which is going to be a testing new makeup i actually got all of the stuff in here which i'm going to show you for 19 dollars because i had over 2,000 points so i figured i would just use them up so first i got the urban decay all-nighter face primer so i've been wanting to try this because i have tried their original all-nighter setting spray so i thought this would be really good sorry my camera's like not focusing okay there we go and then i also did get their new all-nighter ultra matte long-lasting setting spray i actually don't know how new this is but i haven't seen it so i just picked that up and then i also did get the revolution pro hydra matte hydrating primer serum so i thought this was cool it's from makeup revolution and it's supposed to be a matte primer but it's supposed to be hydrating, which I thought was very interesting. So like I said, I paid $19 for everything and this alone was $15. So essentially it's like, I basically got everything else for nothing. So it's crazy. And then I did end up getting the Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild collab. This packaging is so cute. So I got his eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna be reviewing this as well. Again, it's gonna be in a testing new makeup. And then I got his highlighting brush as well. This was like $7. I love Wet n Wild makeup brushes. And then I also got two of his lip glosses right here, as well as his new Jungle Rock setting spray. This is actually the main reason why I went back to Ulta and I ended up getting everything else but I got the conceal and define infinite concealer from makeup revolution so this is supposed to be their new super full coverage concealer like it's supposed to be more full coverage than their original so it just looks like this this is like old-school YouTube like this is how people used to make videos on their webcam terrible lighting sitting on the floor I miss those days but this is like a little bit of a better look at his eyeshadow palette looks so cute i cannot wait to try this so yeah that is everything that i got hector is literally knocked out right here sleeping and then bernard bernard baby come here it's almost time for his bedtime as well you ready for bed he's probably gonna go out and then bedtime so yeah that is it for today's vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed it you guys will probably see this vlog thursday morning so i hope you have a wonderful day and that is it. I will see you very soon. Probably going to go to Home Goods and get some stuff for the house because we can officially move our stuff in. So get excited and definitely subscribe if you have not already. And that is it. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon in my next vlog. Bye. By the way, don't mind these wonky eyelashes. It's been a long day, okay? Let's just take them off because... Oh, I feel so much better. It's like I can see the light. But yeah, don't mind them. Hopefully they weren't too distracting in the last portion of the vlog. But okay, that's officially it. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.